Hi there, and welcome to this week's video. It's another week of cottage destruction, um, but now we're gonna start to see, oh, and here's Chloe. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, Chloe, oh dear, okay, fell. Oh. Okay, I can't, oh, I can't film. Are you okay? Oh, honey, oh dear. Oh yeah, he didn't like that very much. He fell, oh, okay. Chloe says hi. Um, it's getting colder, so now <laughs> I think I gotta find her a little jacket. And she like keeps jumping on my lap because I think she's cold. So um, okay, so this week we are uh, destroying the cab, ca uh, the cottage, but also putting it back together. So you'll see some more of that. I've been doing a little bit of painting in the kitchen, in the breakfast room, and yeah, so. All is well. We have met some neighbors down the road who have bought, I don't know if you guys remember when I had, uh, I went to the auction down the, down the road and I bought that yellow set, settee. Well, it turns out um, that a couple of Americans have bought the chateau now. Um, which is very weird because they came over for <laughs> they came over for a visit. I was like, well, this used to be in your house and this used to be in your house. And so um, anyway, but they're really great and so i have new i have like new now two chateau neighbors how fun is that so anyhow um okay yes chloe is asking i don't know what for her dinner her blanket she just wants to be snuggled on the couch which i think is what we're gonna do now okay um don't forget to subscribe and do all that fun stuff okay enjoy the oh my video. gosh oh my gosh Holy hey. cow, wow, that's crazy, that is so crazy, wow, we are really gutting it, <laughs> so, uh, gutted, demolition man, yeah. in the house, <laughs> what else can I do, there's no house anymore, uh, wow. we just need some wood, yeah, yeah that's so what it is, Holy cow. Everything must go. Everything must go. It's turning out that way. That's wild. You can see, you walk in there, you have a metal landing. Yeah. The stairs run straight. So the stairs will go straight across here. So now you're walking, there will be a meter. A meter, yeah. From the door to the base of the stair. So you have a nice place, you hang your coat, you take your Straight out that way. Then you're down. Kitchen across the wall, maybe. I would love to see a little kitchen island here. Mm -hmm. So you're cooking yeah, sure. here, your guests. Or with, yeah. Right. Chat. Yeah. Or Most important, with. drink rose. <laughs> so, I can't function without rose. Now. Look what your such have done to me. <laughs> but where is your butter? You need to work with your butter. Yeah, yeah, you yeah exactly. You know, like the old guys. Yeah. So we got some. Uh, Baguette and cheese. Oh, uh, funny. What else do you need? Right? Nothing else. Nothing, Nothing else. Bread, cheese, and wine. <laughs> I think, didn't the Greeks figure this out <laughs> 3,000 years ago? <laughs> so, and we're still, <laughs> still getting it. So this is safe to walk on right now? Yeah, this is safe to walk on. Okay. Uh, so next, I'll, I'll take out the section to the beam here. Oh, right. Then work this way. Yeah. Pull the stairs out. And then... All that's left is the beam and the wall. Wow. I'll leave the wall to, because I'll use it to, to rest yeah. the... Oh, uh, I see. The wood on? The wood on to the beam. So... But uh, you want to take off the wall? Well, I will, yes. You don't want to do it? Not yeah. just yet. I'll take it down a little bit, but I'll use it to rest the, the wood on while I put it in the pocket. Yeah. I like this. We can work on it. And, and then, yeah. And then, uh, and then uh, at the end, we'll take okay. it out. Take up the concrete floor yeah. where we can and fill the bin. And you keep the thing? We'll keep this. We'll keep these stairs from here up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. keep this from here down. It'll just go straight across. Uh, we'll just make a new we'll make a new set. Just very simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight for the front. Yeah. Hmm. What else there is? 
Oh, you don't have a oh, jackhammer yeah. yeah, for this. Of course, of course you do. Better than this to you. Yeah. Uh, that's a big one, but... Uh, oh, that's better. Small. Yeah, it's more. You can get into the... It will be easier. And it's it's so, so hard. It's not, not so, so small. I can, this I can take out with the small hammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. Piece by piece, but uh, down here. Mm -hmm. Don't know what's over here. Yep. Well, that's a plain up. Comes down. Wow. Talk about killing your darlings. I know, right? <laughs> oh my god. You think your daddy's way. <laughs> it's a saying uh, when you're writing a book, you know, and you have to sometimes kill off a character. Okay. Like, you know, you have to sort of make something to bad make happen to make sense. the story yeah, make okay. sense and make it good. Even though you labored over this character, you put good words in his mouth. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But sometimes you still you have to make something really ugly before it's beautiful. So, you're going to get another window. Oh, wow. In yeah. the kitchen. In the kitchen? Yeah. This was a window, so we were right. We always guessed. Like, no? Well, right? it's got a lintel, though, yeah, right? It's not a lintel. It's oh. like this. It's oh, just for the. So, comes. This will be yeah. counter height. Or this this is counter height? Yeah, counter height. Oh, with the, with the floor oh, dug the out. Floor okay, out. yeah. Uh, window, 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 and then the one meter, meter, one meter here. Fun. 60, 60, 60 wide. Oh my god, it's gonna be huge. Yeah, the same as this one. Oh, okay. A bit less a bit small. Yeah. yeah, smaller, but for the yeah. nice, the 60 is almost the same. How fun! Oh, that's awesome. Nice window. Yeah, that'll be great. Kitchen counters here, yep. uppers and lowers, here, from here to here, to here. Uh, what's the word? Ilo. 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 An island. Island. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. An island here. facing that way? Oh, yeah. plumbing. Coming here. Uh, you know, bar seats on the other side. And, uh, okay. Plumbing yeah. like you put the the tent the same thing here, okay. Because everything's open. There's the plumbing. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Right. right. In front. <laughs> uh, in France we don't do a lot uh, uh, tub uh evier in the hilo. You don't? In the hilo we just heat and uh, oh, and okay. we usually put the the uh, the evier. Oh okay. Well, could you it's uh, your, your choice. Okay. Yeah, you, decisions, decisions. Yeah, I know what you mean. Then it's just... Then it's just sitting and prepping. Yeah, 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 She's here. Oh, and you want to see? Maybe this is better. It's cool. If, if the ego is very big. Yeah. You have two, two parts, but not 18. So, dishwasher one, dishwasher two. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's where it ends. Uh-huh. This is your walkthrough. Yep. And then so, stairs. Yeah. Wow, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. And maybe for this kitchen, you can ask a uh, artisan to make it. You know? Yes, I will maybe definitely do that this time. Around a little bit around here. Yeah. yeah. Someone can do this. Yeah, I think. I can ask. That would be very nice. Yeah, that would be a really nice touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's not that many of them, so no, it wouldn't be that expensive. No. Yeah. yeah. And then build a cool island or find an old mm. piece of furniture or something. Mm -hmm. It'd be yeah. really fun. Yeah, just one furniture, one AT. Nice big piece of stone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. It doesn't even have to be the same as here. If you could even yeah, yeah. get higher yeah. if I need it. I don't know. Find something like this. Yeah. <laughs> Only bigger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Ooh, I'm yeah. so excited. Very cool.
Okay, just gonna show you another thing. So, I bought these beautiful faucets on a, on a website called Brasna, which um, just had gorgeous stuff. Anyway, I guess it's all handmade in Morocco or somewhere. And there's been a problem. So, although it said on the website that the, uh, that the faucet would swivel, it does not. And today we connected it to the water and it just started to pour with water at this joint. And then it turned out that all these little O-rings, there's three of them, and they were all just disintegrated except for this one. So not only does it not have an apparatus by which it could swivel, the, uh, the O-rings were just totally terrible. So the fact that it doesn't swing in this sink is problematic because, yeah, divided sink. So I have to have it angled to this sink and then it's gonna have a sprayer for the sink, I guess. So not an ideal situation. I bought it with the understanding that it swiveled. But once again, I've been caught. This happened also in uh, my firehouse kitchen, same problem. So if you're ever buying faucets and you want the lovely gooseneck, beware, they do not always swivel. And in fact, it seems to be fairly rare that they do. Okay, word of warning. Okay, so an update on the faucet. We got this working. These still leak a little bit down below, but I managed to get in touch finally, after weeks of trying, get in touch with the people at Brasna, and they are going to be sending me replacements for both of these faucets um, that are super nice and that swivel. And so I'm very excited. So we have to just hold on to these until the new ones come and then we'll put them in and send these ones back. And hopefully all will be well in faucet land, in Robinet land. Robinet is what they're called in French. So yeah, I'm excited to have a swiveling faucet. So, okay, just wanted to update you on that. Okay, I just have to show all you guys. I'm making a quiche. Look at me. Look how French I am. And I took out the... I, I went and bought um, nutmeg. And look at this. Oh my goodness, it comes with its own little grater. Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh, so cute. Anyway, just had to show you. Okay. You might wonder why a big box store would have their return department close on Mondays. That's France for you. Okay, d'accord. So it's, it's finished. Beautiful. Uh, let's, uh, Fantastic. The full uh, chavot d'os. Wow. Full chavot d'os. Oh uh, yeah, it's all brick. Wanted. So, um, <clears throat> you know how Tamar was saying the best thing is to cover this with insulation. Uh-huh. I'm thinking uh, maybe uh, let's finish stripping it mm -hmm. and then see because visually I think uh, it's pretty you, cool. You, yeah. I know right now this is in the way of the, uh, mm -hmm. the view, but you can see this is the native this is the native uh, rock of the of the cliff of the cliff, and then they've like in the other caves there are water uh, eroded small niches in the limestone that they've. Been, in oh, I see. They're filled with brick. And my thought is, like, some of these could so be really fascinating. Cool. Yeah. Open it up and put like your mm. Wonder Woman figure in there. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like them with the brick in them, though. They're really cool. Uh, that, well, that's the other thing. And then this, which is whole this whole monstrosity, which uh -huh. is actually holding up the beam. <laughs> the beam. And you can see it's it's actually separating out of the stone. Oh, uh, okay. So So well, how do we fix we, that? We may need to go to plan B, which is see there's only this is the only part of the the act of the uh, support that's the actual rock. I'm thinking we go in and if necessary we install uh one of these posts inside. Oh I see. And then oh. plaster over. Oh, okay. Just, just just in case. Extra. Yeah. 
I'm liking even less what I'm seeing. All right, got it. Yeah. And uh, you, as you've seen, we have built a cradle to remove the main beam. Right. And we just had to strap that up. So what? Wait, what holds? What holds the uh, the beam up? So the um, okay. we use uh, strapping to uh, secure the beam and cut it, and then we'll using uh, pairs of straps we'll just lower it. Oh, I see. Okay. These are the straps and the, and the posts. Right. So the it won't be fast, but it'll be methodical and safe. Right. And then we'll get this beast out of here. Right, but only after the... Yeah. First we have to... Right, we, so we have to first get this metal beam. Yeah, we have to repair this. this yeah, that's... This is being... away, and it's all of... Oh everything my God. above it has started to subside. Oh. Right, so that's going to that's be repaired. In yeah. the same situation at the back door. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and then, of course, we're going to insert a window for you. Oh, right, yeah, the window. Same process. So okay. Right, got it. Okay. And that'll be a lovely addition to the kitchen. Yeah, that'll be really nice. A little window. All right. So Tamar organized the delivery of this um, uh, iron this morning, and it is more than enough for what we need to do the interior repairs. Out of one piece, we're going to get the three interior lintels that we need. And of course, we got lots more. We're going to need one more lintel on the outside. But there it is. Great price. Excellent product. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So, steel's cut, and we are just uh, priming, prepping and priming the, uh, the pieces, uh, getting them ready for installation. Uh, priming is very important, especially when we're using a line mortar, as uh, that can etch the steel if it's bare. So we've just finished uh, removing the old uh, rotted wood uh, lintel at the uh, interior window. Uh, we've got it propped up with uh, steel jack posts and uh, wedges. So we've just cleared it up. Uh, Tomorrow's about to uh, blow all the dust off and uh, we'll dry fit the uh, beam. Packing the back of the uh, the niche uh, for the beam with uh, mortar, uh, which will act as uh, uh, glue at the back, and then uh, once it's in, we'll fill the entire slot. Producer, yeah, you need it. Okay, we just got the beam in. We wedged it up in place, level. Tomorrow's packing the uh, the back of it with uh, concrete. And uh, it went in pretty sweet. A couple of minor faults, but there we go. And uh, we'll be packing the entire thing uh, directly. Um, I'm boxing over uh, around this uh, this beam, and we will be filling that with a a, um, a loose mix of concrete to encase that entire uh, I beam. And we will be doing exactly the same thing here. We're going to box it out, fill it with concrete.
So here it is, beam is in. It's all been packed with uh, concrete. And uh, tomorrow morning, we should be able to remove the uh, pipe columns and start to work on the uh, main uh, wood beam. So we are just uh, exposing the, the oh. lintel over the door and it is quite rotted and Tama just literally pulled it out by his bare hands. Structurally the stone is much better but uh, <clears throat> we've got to get a piece of steel in there for uh, bearing on some of our joists. But not nearly as problematic. That's the first one. I need to take this out. Okay. Do you want the chipping hammer? Yeah. I don't know where it goes. Uh, you know, 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 yeah. The little level, it's magnetic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's continue. I'll go on. So we yeah. have uh, removed uh, everything we need to. Uh, yeah. All the up. And, uh, oh, wow. Just about to put in the. Uh, we're going to pack the back with concrete and then put it in the room. Why is he wearing goggles? Because? He's a boy. Yeah. But uh, I'll just uh, the, the size of the existing beam is so big. We actually don't need one to hold up the wall or a new piece of iron to hold up the wall. We need it. Wow. To be, we're going to use it for um, joists. Okay. So it didn't matter that that piece was rotten, it was didn't so thick. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. It's, uh, you know, Monstrous. 30, 30 centimeters away. Wow. And uh, behind you, you see this one's already done to your left. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Holy cow. That's really cool. So, um, this uh, concrete will be set enough tomorrow that uh, we can deal with the, the main beam. We can cut the main work of our packing here yeah. and cut the main beam. Very cool. Lots of fun. Lots of fun.
Okay, so we're outside the cottage, and this is the main crack outside that I was referring to. Um, you can see it's, uh, it's been seriously compromised, to my mind. Anyway. It was uh, clearly leak at the gutter, um, and it's just etched the mortar right out of the uh, right out from between the stones. Uh, there are some secondary cracks over here that I'm also not keen on, but uh, the fellow that's doing the exterior, he's, uh, he's used to this and will be taking care of that. Here's uh, the outside of the wall where we're going to be putting the window in and it's gonna come in just under that old electrical insulator. So this side of this uh, lintel at the uh, back entry door, although there's some rot in it on the surface, the size of the timber is such that uh, it's still viable. So we're gonna leave it and uh, protect it on the outside from further damage. And inside, this is the major part that uh, that I had concern about, and we have a strategy to deal with that with uh, some uh, heavy steel mesh and uh, mortar. There it is. Thanks for watching. So, uh, earlier I uh, indicated this, this was a real concern. So, we're going to use this cage, uh, we're going to drill in, we're going to drill all the legs in so it's flush. And I'm going to build a, a form around this, and we're going to pour like a, oh. a runny grout mix uh, so that it gets into all the nooks and crannies. Um, and that will really hold it. Um, wow. Stay mm -hmm. that, uh, that Right. Nice. Progress it. <laughs> right? Yeah. The front doing things the French way. <laughs> so this is the rebar cage that uh, has been installed to repair the crack. And it's going into holes drilled into the rock and then those holes will be filled with uh, with the epoxy resin. And uh, then Concrete. There it is. And over here, uh, a lesser crack, we're going to be using uh, these long staples, which will uh, bridge that, uh, that gap. So this is it. The cage and the staples are in uh, to bridge those two gaps, and we will be filling that directly with concrete. Stay tuned that we put in yesterday. We're going to fill all that with concrete. Oh, right. Okay. And uh, come on, it's uh, just filling the box we put in yesterday. Okay. And uh, it's all concrete. It's going to be concrete. So we're basically yes. packing the I-beam in concrete. And it's going to lock all the... All the, the stones the together. Stones together. So that tomorrow, um, we are allowed on Monday, uh, we can get going on this team, replace it with the new one. Okay. That's the plan, that's Monday. That's going to be exciting. New beam. All right. Yeah. And how did our cage work out? The cage worked out really well. Yeah. How long does it have to dry now? So, um, it's, because it's set in concrete, it's, it's good now. Oh. Um, Tama has to finish covering all the iron. Oh, I see. Before we can put the show on, because the show has... Uh, it's lined. Yeah. And it will etch the rot the, uh, the iron. Oh, got it. There but cement won't do that. Who knows? Oh, cement's good. All right. So there it is. Nice. It's, like, it's an order of magnitude stronger than it was before. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Um, it's good. We were able to take off the temporary supports at the other beam. This morning, and uh, all right, good to go. Oh, yeah. So, how do you do? Hello, the community.
Yassim, you gotta say hi. Say hi, Yassim. Hello. <laughs> Uh, very cool. So these are the fussy little details. Yeah, yeah. With, with the big stuff. All right. Yeah, that's awesome. Was this a door of some kind? It was a door. <laughs> some crappy closet door that we took off. <laughs> I, think, I think it was uh, on the third floor. Oh, right. <laughs> so we're, we're recycling all the wood. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, this, these these are from the uh, third. Uh, the oh right, the holding up. Floor. Yeah. Um, and we have some door frames. Door frames. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, that's good. Nothing like being resourceful. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna go paint again. All good at the appointment. All good at the appointment. I now have a form that says that I'm healthy enough to drive. Now <laughs> now all I have to do is this do the is driving for, test. Yeah. For the oh God, I'm terrified. Oh, yeah, no. It's for the drive just so I can like do the test, I guess. They need to they need to have an attestation that I'm healthy. He didn't even check my eyes, so Oh yeah. Excellent. Yep, yeah, there we go. Guess I'm healthy. Woo oh. Okay, so while all the destruction was happening in the cottage, I was in the kitchen doing some painting. So these doors are no longer yellow. <laughs> and um, my plan is to paint the in that interior door and all the exterior doors trim uh. Uh, to paint it in the black. You can kind of just see a bit here. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to tie in with the countertops. But over here, I got these, oops, I got these painted white, and they just seemed so stark. So I had some samples of kind of painting, paint, and I was trying to take in sort of the color of the cabinets. And so I thought it would be cool to paint all the little panels in sort of that kind of grayish color. But jury is still out. I think it's going to depend on how this looks once I get the black painted. So this door, Bruce is in there working on his visa. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I hope it works. Okay, so this door is going to be black. And I've gone through all kinds of iterations. So just to make the door black, or to make this whole thing black, or to make the panels black. But I think just the door, um, then the door will sort of recede and it will tie in still without being kind of like too kind of in your face. And then my idea was that I would make these black as well, but then it just, I'm pretty sure it's just, that would be way too much. So now I'm just trying to keep it subtle, a little black here, subtle here, and then this would be a little black and this would be a little black. So. That's where I'm at, but I'm just painting it a little bit at a time. So I'm going to paint next to this door black and then see how this all looks together. So that's where I'm at with that. And that's what I've been doing while destruction, pure destruction has been happening inside the cottage. But today, Sunday, we are taking the day off and I'm working on the video and Bruce is working on his visa application. So we will see, see what happens. Okay, I guess I could probably talk more about the visa application, but maybe I'll do that in the next video because this one's getting long already. Okay, bye.